Hi guys, good afternoon. Welcome to Learning Cello with Vessi. I am your host, Vessi, and this is cello. It's cello. It's not a violin. It's a cello. <laughs> Without further ado, let's check which song are we learning today. Today we are learning Can't Help Falling in Love, which is a great tune, it's super romantic and a very popular tune. And also another very good thing about this tune is that it's pretty straightforward, so it's good for both beginners and more advanced students. Before we get into the actual lesson, go ahead and check the description box below where you're gonna find all the information which you need about getting the sheet music, a link to the full musical video of this song and a link to my Patreon page where you can become a supporter of the channel and unlock a lot of additional benefits such as early access to my videos, exclusive footage and content for my Patreons, access to my full mp3 and sheet music library and much more. If you are new to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell right next to it to become part of the one and only Cello Kingdom here on YouTube. All of our members obtain an instant royalty status and are given a small castle in the island of Eternal Base. You don't particularly need to check that information up because it's 100% guaranteed it's true. So now that you have become a part of the cello kingdom, we can actually start the lesson. Today's song it's written in a C major scale and for the first half of the song we're gonna use only our first position. So let's start by reviewing the first half of the song. <laughs> So we start the song in first position and we're gonna play our first note on the G string. First of all we need to find our first position. And our first note is going to be the C with fourth finger on the G string. The second note which we need to play is located on the exact same place but on the D string. So very easy axis. Just stay on the same place but move your finger to the D string. And we go back to the G string. So the first three notes are very easy and each one of them goes for two beats at a time. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. So the three and four in the second bar is going to be pause. So let's review this one more time. First we find our C which will be located in the first position on the G string. We play this note with fourth finger right here on the G string. We jump to a C with fourth finger on the D string. We go back to the first note. So right at the end of this bar, we have an off tact for the next bar. So let's review how this goes. Pretty straightforward. Again, we use our first position and this time we're gonna start in the D string with an open D. After the open D, we put our first finger for the E on first position. And after this F with second finger. And after the F, we play E and D with an open string. So one more time, it goes like this. Let's review those two, one after the other. 
Now we jump into the third part, which will start with an open G string. This one is a little bit longer. It starts with an open G. After this, we have the A with first finger. So after this we play G, A, B, C, so open string, first finger, third finger, fourth finger. After this we go into the D string. And we play D, E, F, E. D, C. So that's gonna be open string, first finger, second finger. And we go back down, first finger, open string, and we finish on the C with fourth finger in on the G string. So let's review that third part again. And here you go, that is the whole first half of the song, which goes again like this, very slowly. There are many other ways in which you can play this particular part. You can put it one octave higher, you can uh, play it with different fingering, but that particular way of playing it, I think it's really easy, so it can be suitable for most players of any level and skill. That, however, is only half of the song. So the next half of the song, we have this. <laughs> Let's review that second part of the song. We start on the G string with third finger, which is going to be our B. The second note is going to be E with first finger on the D string. And after this second note, the third note is going to be G, but instead with fourth finger, we're going to play it with first finger. So here we have a jump from E to G with first finger. So that is a jump which you can learn on its own and it's really good if you're going to be stable in your jump. How do you know exactly where to land on your jump? Remember where you will play the G with fourth finger and instead with fourth finger replace it with your first finger. So first finger on the G is going to be our third note. Then we extend our position with fourth finger to catch B and A. So we're gonna play after the G note, we're gonna extend with fourth finger, play B, and after this stay in this extended position and play with second finger A. This little sequence we repeated three times. And after the third time, we jump on F sharp with our third finger. 
So we jump back into first position on the F sharp with third finger on the D string. F and after this we have a G with fourth finger. Back to E. Let's review this one more time really slowly. So after we jump back into our first position for F sharp with our third finger and two times G with our fourth finger. After this we have E, G, E. So after this little sequence we fall back into F with the second finger. And here we go, those were the two little parts of that song and the song goes with repeating those two parts. The second time that this particular melody comes into place you can decide on your own if you would like to repeat it one octave higher and that will sound a little bit different. can stay in this particular octaves here lower in first position for those of you who are still beginner level so here you go that is for you guys can't help falling in love by elvis presley again if you are new to my channel and you enjoy those tutorials and you enjoy my music videos go ahead and subscribe to my channel ring the little notification bell if you have subscribed with notifications on please comment down below i am a proud part of the cello kingdom for a chance to get a shout out in my next tutorial if you are already a part of the Cello Kingdom, comment down below what kind of royalty title you would like to possess here. I hope that some of you found this video helpful and for those of you who have not found it helpful, I hope that at least you found it a little bit funny. Please support my channel by subscribing to my Patreon page and watching my videos here on YouTube. And for all of you who already did, thank you guys so much and I will see you next week. Bye!